Okay, so the next topic is called substitution. It's a fancy word for saying it is called evaluating expressions. And this is basically where you replace a variable with a known number. Remember last uh, uh, lesson about the algebra language, we said that the variable, the letter, was uh, some unknown number. But if we know what the number is, we just substitute the known number in for the letter or variable, and we can actually get an answer. So let's take a look at this question here. Um, w plus 7. And we're, we're told that we're supposed to evaluate if w equals 3. Evaluate just means give me the answer. So what is the answer if w is actually equal to 3? Okay, now I know a lot of you can do this in your head, but here's the way I want you to show this. I want you to show that the 3 is being subbed in for this w. That's what we're doing. We're substituting this 3 into the w. When we do that, I want you to show the 3 being subbed in by putting the 3 in for the w directly underneath in brackets. So the w is subbing in the 3. Bring down the plus directly underneath. Bring down the 7 directly underneath. 3 plus 7 is 10. And that's your answer. So when we're given an expression and we're told what the letter actually is worth, we sub it in and we get the answer. Show the steps, get in the habit of showing the brackets for whatever you're substituting. Okay, the brackets thing comes in handy for this question. 2g minus 4, evaluate if g equals 5. Meaning, okay, we're going to sub out this g and put in this 5. So this 5 will come in for g. So we write the entire thing, the 2 directly underneath, the g, we're subbing out the g to put the number 5, put it in brackets, you know, whatever you're substituting, put it in brackets, the minus and the 4. Now it's just good old bed mass. You have 2 times 5 minus 4. In bed mass you do the multiplying first, 2 times 5, which is 10 minus 4, 10 minus 4 is 6. There you go. All right, now what about this? 5m minus m. Evaluate, just eval, if m equals 2. So we're going to sub in a 2 for m here and here. Again, directly underneath, write down the 5. Sub in the 2 for m, and the 2 here as well for that m. 5 times 2 is what we end up getting. That's 10 minus 2 is 8. Simple, simple. All right. What if you have two variables to sub in for? 3x plus 4y, evaluate if x is 3 and y is 1. So where we see an x, we're going to sub in the 3. So we already had a 3 in front, 3, and then we sub in the 3 there, they're multiplying, plus 4, where we see a y, we're going to sub in the number 1. Now we just do it, bed mass. Multiplying first, 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 1 is 4. We add them together, we get 13. Okay, next up, getting a little trickier. What if we have 6p plus 5, and we have to evaluate if p equals negative 2? So wherever we see a p, we're going to sub in the negative 2. So put negative 2 into here. So 6, sub in the negative 2, put it in brackets, plus 5. Hopefully you remember your integer rules from before. We're doing the multiplying first. This is not 6 minus 2, this is 6 times negative 2. Remember, when the signs are different, it's negative. 
So it's negative 6 times 2, 12, plus 5. And I hope you remember this, how to do this stuff. You're down 12, you're up 5, you are down 7. You are allowed to use a calculator from here on in, so even if you're unaware, unsure, you can always double check on the calculator. And negative 7 is the answer. Okay. What about this one? This question looks to be as easy as ABC, but hold on. We have A is 3, B is negative 2, C is 4. So we sub in, wherever we see the A, we'll sub in the 3. So A, we put in a 3 in brackets. For B, we put the negative 2. For C, we'll sub in the 4. All times each other. That's the way I do it in brackets. You can put the little X's if you want, or just the dots, or whatever you like. Anyways, we're multiplying. So multiplying here, multiplying there. The rule is you go left to right. There's a tie. 3 times negative 2. Signs are different. Positive and negative. So it's negative 6. Bring down the 4 in brackets. You're left with negative 6 times positive 4. Signs are different. So it's negative 6 times 4. 24. Done. Okay. What about this one here? x squared minus x. Evaluate if x is 3. So we have um, two x's and they both have to be subbed in by a 3. So we put a 3 in for here. 3 is being squared minus that same 3. So 3 squared is not 6. It's 3 times 3, which is 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3 is 6. Done. So it's it's not too hard. You just got to be careful and not make silly mistakes. Please show your work um, so you will less, be less likely to make silly mistakes. Trust me, with these skill testing questions, there's a high probability of people making silly mistakes. Watch the negative signs on these four. Um, so A is 3, B is negative 4. Evaluate, aka give me the answer for those four. Talk to you later. Bye.